everybody thinks the way they are. That's what It's important, extremely vital in fact, that you know that this person that you're dating or thinking about dating or going out with is a psychopath because it will save you not only the misery that these people are going to cause you but uh, becoming someone else's slave or being used by them or being killed by them because they're capable, they're very capable of that as well. Psychopaths all have um, several traits in common and they're easy to spot but you have to have the ability to uh, recognize and accept them that this is in fact a dangerous person that you're dealing with and uh, not all psychopaths are knife wielding psychos like in the movie Alfred Hitchcock's movie psychopaths are very self-preserving people so a psychopath, if they think that they're going to get caught or spend any time in prison, they're not going to commit murder. Um, if there's a, a cop standing next to someone that they want to rob, they'll wait till the cop leaves. That sort of thing. They won't, they're not bold enough to, uh, to do that sort of thing. Now one of the traits that they have in common is that they're very um, outgoing, flattering towards you, very outgoing personalities, um, articulate in what they say, they know how to land you, they know how to get to, to you. Psychologically, they will flatter you to no end in order to get you, to bring you into their circle. It's their circle of control that they want to bring you into. The trait you want to look for is they will promote themselves like they are uh, God's gift to the world, and I'm not—I'm not even exaggerating this. They will absolutely present you with credentials that make them look absolutely like the greatest, uh, most important, most intelligent person you've ever met. But if you look into their credentials, you'll find that they either don't exist at all, or they're only half there, or is just pure lies. Psychopaths love to talk about themselves and their own achievements that they've never made and um, if you ask them for photographs or pictures or or evidence that they are who they are or they've been to where they've been or did what they did they haven't got anything at all to give you and in fact what they'll do is they'll try to switch topics and that's what you should look for as well the switching of topics uh, or just uh, a lie covering another lie. For a psychopath, a lie is that is a tool, and it's um, they can look you straight in the face, lie to you without blinking, and show all the emotions and ability to lie to you, and 
and um, not have a care in the world about it because lying, as I said, is a tool for them. It's a way to get what they want. Um, it works. Why not use it? O.J. Simpson, for instance, he, he could just pass you any type of lie at all and you're going to believe it because his, his movements, his body gestures, the whole thing were believable. They were consistent with someone telling the truth. Psychopaths are born that way. They're, it's a brain malnormality that forms at birth. It's, it's a section of the brain that's in the dead center behind the eyes. It gives them the ability to only be concerned about themselves. The world around them revolves around them and human beings in this world are there only to promote themselves. It's a purely um, selfish response inside the brain for on, on every occasion, on every matter. And in fact, the psychopaths who have gone to prison, that's 30% of the prison population, those who have gone through the process of reform, the reform package prisons offer through counseling and, and um, counseling, reading, whatever techniques they try to use, the psychopaths that have gone through the program come out, commit the crimes again. Those who do not go through the program usually don't commit the crimes again. And it's because uh, psychopaths are self-preserving and they see these programs as a way to have someone else trying to have control over them so they will go out and try to prove that they have the control. But in a relationship you're looking for someone who who hangs on you a lot, someone that tries to hang on to you, control you, manipulate you, um, they're selfish, self-absorbed, they have many sexual relationships. Uh, sex is a tool for self-gratification, so that's what they use it for. They're involved in many marriages because they can't stay married. They Once the person's no longer used to them, or once the person wakes up, the marriage is over. They show no sympathy towards other people, but they can pretend to be sympathetic by putting on an act if it, if it works towards getting you to notice them or getting you into their situation, but you'll notice what you want to look for if you're dealing with someone you think is a psychopath in your relationship. The sympathy doesn't carry over. It, it will go for a certain short, very short length of time and die. Psychopaths have very little ability to do anything. Uh, they don't plan for their future. They have no ability to go into a future that they do want to have and you will notice that they manipulate and uh, betray other people there's always these put downs of other people to make them feel good now when I worked in grocery store for, uh, the company had hired a psychopath manager this person had all of the credentials that uh, were a complete um, garbage, they were just garbage, and his idea of being a store manager was that they give you a list of things to do and then you make other people do them and you do nothing, and that's that's the way he was carrying on, and I warned everybody in the store that this man was a psychopath and they should be aware of him because he fits the categories, and uh, of course nobody listened to me, and uh, sure enough it happened. And in order to whip people into shape, literally, that's what they will do. He called everybody into the office, out of each department, and he put them on write-up. And three write-ups you get uh, suspended. He put them on one to two write-ups for each person, except for myself. He was very aware that I knew what he was, and that um, I was... Uh, he considered me a threat to him, so he kept me away from him. And he tried to get other people to bring me into the office for write-up, but couldn't do it. They wouldn't do it. He was too scared to do it. And uh, that's my experience with a psych corporate psychopath. Many times psychopaths will take jobs. You will find them in banking institutions, usually at the top of 
corporations usually at the top. You'll find them in sports. These are the most vicious people in the sports arena. You know, famous character, uh, famous character, O.J. Simpson, for example. Uh, and corporations, Bernie Madoff. If you're a Canadian, you know who that is. They have no sympathy or apathy for other people. They they could care less what happens to them. That financial breakup or destruction that you saw take place in the United States in 2008 was actually caused by psychopaths in the upper echelons of the corporations and banking institutions. They were only concerned about making money. They knew exactly what was going to happen and they made it happen. And if it did, they made money of it, mind you. They made a lot of money afterwards as well. But uh, they could care less who lost out in that, who lost their homes, who lost their jobs. That was no concern to them whatsoever. These very people are actually keeping that same system alive in the United States. It has not changed. There is no change in the banking institution whatsoever. And it's because those people are still in charge and they're still keeping it going. Another trait psychopaths have in common is that they will never have a cat for a pet. Psychopaths will always have dogs, and obviously because dogs can be controlled, cats cannot. Psychopaths have an ability to have a tendency to be bored frequently and need to be um, gratified frequently. Um, if you're in a relationship with a psychopath, uh, there are various types that a practice that psychopaths will have. Expect, look for the signs of control. They want to know where you're at at all times. They want you to call them at all times. Uh, they're possessive of you, they're suspicious of you, um, the person has very little morals, um, they come up with frequent excuses of why they're late or where they've been. If there's a, you find a condom in their pocket, for instance, if you're a girl and it's a guy this, in this situation, you'll find that he's got an excuse for that condom, he will usually tell you that it's for, he's holding it for his friend or one of his relatives. Um, in severe cases, psychopaths will threaten to kill you or your family or your family first if you try to ever leave them. Uh, the relationship starts out very gratifying for you. They're very filled with flattery, very loving. Psychopaths don't have the ability to love anybody but themselves. But they will act very loving initially. Once it wears off, then comes the insults, the uh, diatribes, the anger, the spouts, the childish behavior, um, the demands, and they will use all these things to control you. Um, you become essentially a slave to them. Um, in many cases it will result in beatings. They will have uh, no problem at all killing your dog or stealing your favorite jewelry or you know, if you have a daughter or a son from a previous relationship, they would think nothing of raping them if they felt like that's what they wanted to do. Um, or even hurting them in some way if it brought them, brought them pleasure watching the pain. You know, check for all these signs. I will put up a list of what to look for in a relationship with psychopaths. Wear them. Uh, they are very kind you up front in order to bring you in. It's like uh, being caught in a spider trap and once you're in it's going to be very difficult to get away from them. So try to pinpoint them at the beginning of your relationship or not at the beginning of any relationship with them, at the beginning of encountering them and avoid them at all costs because in spite of what they say to you or how they treat you they are deadly, they will destroy you, they have destroyed society I mean, look what Adolf Hitler did, look what Joseph Stalin did, Benito Mussolini, uh, and the financiers such as Bernie Madoff, um, O.J. Simpson, look what these people do on a major scale. So even though these, this is a rare abnormality, I've been told that in Britain, the British measurement that I've read about seen is like one out of 200 births, and in North America I've heard it said, seven out of a hundred births, I really don't know, 
It's very rare, but they do cause a massive amount of destruction.